was like a more realistic situation, from this range, your chances of stopping anything is about zero or negative 10. <laughs> so, long as well, say when you're doing pots, I was actually supposed to be from really far. So the guy's punching you that way, you get to learn how to close. Because he he's been in a lot of fights, he knows closing is the essence of combat. <laughs> so, it's easier to close on one punch, it's hard to close on a blur. So you're training to try to jump in against like a blur of punches. But a lot of people don't know that, so they do the one chin from here. Well, there's a reason why even pro fighters have to cover from here, right? Why they have to tie up. Even like Mayweather has to cover from here because it's too close, right? So you, you, you throw a baseball at a pro baseball player, they can catch it. From this close, no pros can catch it. Right? So there's a limitation of human reaction time. So when you do this stuff, make sure you don't do too close. Now, if you're from a school that does that, don't sit there and be like, listen, you're a pro big. Don't, don't fucking do that. Be like, yes, sir, no, sir, okay, let's do it. But when you're training by yourself, then you're like, hey, let's be more practical, right? So don't be disrespectful to where you're from. But in a practical point of view, do it from far. And if you do it from far, people are going to say that's not practical because the guy can't touch you anyways. They're still miss, they're not understanding the point of drill is to jump into a blur. Right? So that's why you come up from here, and he gets training because now he's punching my hands, punching my heart. Now it's safe, and I get to learn to relax and jump in from far, right? So now do it from farther and pick your timing. Sometimes you're going to block and then come in. Sometimes you're going to go and block and come in at the same time. Sometimes you're going to come in and then you block. You don't know because it's a blur. You don't know where you're catching the guy. So, Relax a bit and see if you can play with before, during, and after. Right? Um, if you get a chance to learn Wing Chun, what I recommend is learning from people that is a Wong Chun Lung's lineage, right? I've been around the world looking at Wing Chun guys, well, around the world being the States, Hong Kong, and uh, Canada. By far the best practical explanation of Wong's lineage. <coughs> so, just this, everything I said today about Pak Sao came from him. Just that alone, I haven't heard anywhere else. Right? So, play with that. Right? Okay. So people argue, is it, is it, like, it's okay, picture. It over or under, which one's correct? Or, it's a dumb question, right? That's why Wong Chun Wong did it, man, they did both. Depends where the arm is. If the arm is straight, there's no hole here. Go under. If the arm is bent, there's no hole here. Go over. A lot of people don't do that. When the arm is straight, there's no hole. They try to make a hole by pushing down. Like I said, that's okay, and then the guy has a lot of teeth up. And then, as soon as you touch his arm down, it's going to hit you, right? That's, but very few people do a lot of, so it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> push, push down on all your mom, most people won't do anything. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> but if you, have, like, you, know, if you want to be perfect, right? Because some people have obsessed with personality, like this guy right here. <laughs> you can go under, right? And then you go over if you want.